Yo, hello everyone and welcome back to Dividend Investor. Back today with another portfolio and jeez, since the last portfolio update, there's been quite a lot going on in the stock market. Obviously, you know about the issues with the C word, which I'm not going to say, which has been causing um, a lot of upheaval in the stock market. So now is just the time to breathe, panic, don't panic, panic, no, don't, don't listen to that. Don't panic, just keep a cool heads. And this is where the investing game gets really um, interesting. As a dividend investor, I'm looking forward to these sort of downturns in the market as it pre presents buying opportunities. So I will do my portfolio update over the last seven week, uh, last seven week, last seven days, just to show how my stocks have, have done or how bad they've done, as to say. But anyway, guys, it's before getting to the video. If you could please subscribe to my channel, and like this video. Uh, hit the like button, boost the algorithm on my channel, and get the um, world of investing out to more people. And I'm trying to aim for 1,000 subscribers. So anyway, I've, um, we're going to the last seven days. So we've got Abvi, who are down 8% in the last seven days, but I am still up with a decent uh, profit of 13.9%. It's worth knowing, guys, if you are still in the green as a whole with your investment, that is a really good sign, as it shows also that the stock market hasn't dipped quite as much as we probably thought in general. As you can see, we've Abvi over the last year. This, this has got this uh, big graph, and it was down, uh, down around eighty dollars, eighty-two dollars, and then went back up to. The scrubber on this guys is really not the best to use, by the way. So be patient with me. <laughs> but yeah, it went probably on to ninety-five. Now it's back down to eighty-four dollars. So I'm still in the green with Abvi. Next up is Verizon. Verizon were down. Another stock who's down in the last week. Obviously, every single stock I think has been down 6.6% in the last seven days. And I'm down just under 10% on my investment as a whole with Verizon. Next up is AT&T. AT&T in the last seven days are down seven, around 7.5%. 7 I have 12 shares and I'm still in the green. I was in the green by around 15 to 20%. But I'm still at 8% profit, which is good. Then next up we have is Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, another one of my best performing stocks over the last probably six months or so. I have seven shares and I'm still in the green, 11.4% with them, which is good. Just keeping the green profit, keeping in the green, guys, it is always good. Colgate, next up, I am down 9.2% in the last week and I'm down 9.8% overall. And the next up we have is Microsoft. Microsoft are down 5%, not a massive one compared to a lot of the others. You can still see you guys, look, the Met, over the year they're up 44%, so this little dip at the top here, it's probably, it's nothing to be worried about at the moment, guys. The, the, you know what, it really is causing a lot of upheaval in the stock market. Part of the reasons are is that big name investors shifting money around from different companies, which causes havoc with the share price and also the economic, economical values with... Um, Obviously, it's like a snowball effect of um, companies they're not distributing products, people not buying or selling things. It's has a big chain reaction on the stock market. Next up is Starbucks. Starbucks are down 7.21% in the last seven days. And I'm down just under 15%. Again, if you look at Starbucks in the last year, they're still up 11%. Next up, Johnson & Johnson, down 7.83% in the last um, seven days. And I'm down just 2% as in a whole, which isn't too bad considering. Next up is Ford. Ford down massively in the last month, 21%, but in the last week down a further 8%. And I've, recently, I've had, added quite a lot of positions in Ford over the last few weeks, and I'm down 30% as a whole. But I've tried to dollar cost average and bring it down as much as I can. Another one who's uh, been down quite a bit in the last seven days is Royal Dutch Shell, who are down 8.69%. And I have nine shares. I've added a position in a couple of positions in Shell as well. No, just the one there, sorry. Down 27.91%. Uh, Oil and gas have been hit quite hard recently anyway. BP again down 9.61%. Uh, 
uh, and I'm down 80% as a whole with BP. They've actually gone up a little bit today from what they was on Friday, but still down overall from what it started at. Imperial Brands is next up on the list, do a down 8.62%. I'm down 21.74% as a whole. Next up we have is Pfizer. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm just down 3.61% in the last week. Down 11% as a whole. You can see guys, that literally I don't think there's been a stock that's been in the green for me over the last week. So, and Then next up we have is PepsiCo. Down 7.4%. And I'm down 7, over 7% as a whole. Walmart next up, I am down 7.43%. You can see sort of a bit of a trend that shoot most of the stocks have gone down probably between 5 and 10% in the last week. Uh, I'm down 9.5% 9 as a whole with uh, Walmart. Next up is Oriental Income Investment Trust. There we go, uh, down 10% in the last seven days. And I'm down 12% as a whole. Then next up is British American Tobacco down 5.3% in the last week. I'm still just about in the profit. A profit is a profit at this point, guys. As my portfolio is obviously it's dipped down. Well, I'll go over that one in the end, but it's down quite a bit. Then we have uh, uh, HSBC, the bank. We're down 4.8%. And I'm down 12.29% on my in on my whole investment next up we have is Lloyd's Lloyd's bank down for 5.48% in the last 30 days and I'm down 16.87% on my whole investment as a whole with Lloyd's Lloyd's are a good one to dollar cost average as they are obviously quite volatile well they're a cheap stock and they're quite volatile so if you can get anything below the 50p mark with Lloyd's as you see in the last year yeah, 49, anything below 50p, it's quite a good steal. It's usually sit around between the 50 and 60 pence mark, and sometimes even higher. Next up, a new purchase. I'll go over my purchase at the end, but the S&P 500 is down 9% in the last week, but it's a new purchase. I purchased it at 43 pounds, and it's up around 50 pence, which, but as you can see, guys, the big dip, the S&P 500, but still, it's still up over the year as a whole, so does our average 8% return each year or higher. The next is Intel. Intel are down 10.10% in the last seven days. And I'm still up 13% as a whole. Another one that's in the green, which is good. The next on the list we have is Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo down 11.94%. And I'm down 12.7% as a whole. Just a one share. I was in the green with Wells Fargo for quite a while. You can see big dip, dip, down from 47 to $40, so that's Wells Fargo. Next up, National Grid, down 5.92% in the last week, and but I'm still up just under 20% as a whole, which is good with the free shares that I own. Then the last stock on the list is Taylor Wimpy, we're down 9, almost 10%, uh, but I'm still 10% up on my investment as a whole with Taylor Wimpy. So that is it for the portfolio guys, so I'm down £145 since I began investing, but taking into fact I was up around 200, almost £300 in profit, so it's, down, it's gone down £500, as you can see there guys, it's my portfolio started, this is about out of date, so I'll try to do it from last week, so it was £3,900 on the 20th of Feb, and as you can see the slow decline, last week, last Monday it went went down from eight three thousand eight hundred and eighty five to three thousand eight hundred and one and slowly down since it got as low as three thousand five hundred but now it's uh five hundred and fifty sorry but now it's gone back up to three thousand five hundred and sixty nine so the main thing is here guys I would not panic I would um, obviously buy in the dips if you can um, a big lesson that I have actually learned is about your cash reserves guys have some cash in your portfolios just as cash as um is when things like this happen, you can have um, a good opportunity to buy more stocks. I didn't have a good amount of cash saved, which I knew I should have done for something like this, but I managed to get some cash in and, in, and invest in some stocks and the dips.
first lesson for you guys just make sure you uh, have some cash in reserves in your portfolios so let's have a look at my purchases now uh, let's go to Friday 25th of February I think it was so I bought four shares of Lloyds three shares of Oriental Income and the further two shares of Lloyds Lloyds I've bought them quite a bit during that day I sold my US corporate bonds which was around 5% up with to make room for more money to buy in the positions I'm down in so I bought the S&P 500 which I've wanted to get for a while uh, I've also bought a share of Shell, one share of Imperial Brands, and then a further two shares of Lloyds, five shares of BP, a further four shares of Oriental Income, another share of BP, eight shares of Lloyds, a further four shares of Ford, four shares of Ford, it's quite hard to say, it rolls off the tongue, not very well that, um, one share of BP, and that was it for my purchases. So you can see guys, I did, put, I did uh, try and purchase a lot of positions I was down in, um, but yeah, so that's the main thing guys Try not to panic with all this commotion going up in the stock market You'll try and get scared by the me media They'll try to do anything to try and put fear into investors But yeah guys, just keep investing, keep doing your research And enjoy anyway guys That is it for today's video And uh, just on the last note, if you haven't yet Subscribe to my channel And like this video, comment uh, Boost the algorithm on my channel And get the world of dividend investing out to more people uh, another little side note, oh guys, that you do still. The good thing is, I'm expecting quite a lot of dividends this month um, in March, so that's always another plus point. While the market's down, I'm still receiving my dividends. So yeah, take that into note, guys. Anyway, that's it for me today, guys. Take care. Peace.